Hello, I'm Kath Revel and I'm a Tai Chi teacher and a Qigong teacher and a somatics teacher. So what is somatics? Um, somatics is natural movement and natural movement is movement that comes from the centre of the body. So by the centre I mean your centre, your belly, your waist, the small of your back and also your centre line, your spine. Um, somatics is not exercise. It is movement that is natural and it is a way of resetting your nervous system. So it's more like brain work. And the purpose of somatics is to release long-held muscular tension. So muscular tension that's long-held is difficult to detect because it's habitual and then what happens is the brain tells your nervous system to hold the muscles in a particular way and then forgets about it. So we call this tension sensory motor amnesia or SMA. So for example if you do something like are on the computer a lot your muscles will shorten around the front of your body or if you drive a car a lot or if you carry think something one-sided, like a bag over your shoulder habitually, carrying a child, or if you've had an injury and you're, you know, you're holding yourself in order to protect um, those muscles that have been injured, the movements that you use, they're functional movements, but they become forgotten by your brain because it's useful to just forget, then you can, then you can carry on as normal. So, but what happens over time if you um, don't know how to release this SMA, this, this unconscious tension, is that it leads to pain. So that is why somatics is so useful for, um, and so effective at um, getting rid of pain. So how do we get rid of pain? We have an ingenious and very effective um, and very simple uh, technique called pandiculation. And pandiculation is natural movement. The word actually comes from a Latin word pandiculare, which means to yawn. So somatics feels like a yawn. So it's a gorgeous, luxurious, lovely feeling. Um, it's not strenuous, it's not effortful. Um, if you watch a cat or a dog when they get up after a sleep, Notice what they do. They contract the front of their body and then slowly release. And then they go the other way. They contract the back of their body and then slowly release. Little shake of the leg and they're ready to go. They reset, that's how they reset. And what they're doing is not stretching, it's pandiculation. Pandiculation is a contraction followed by a slow release followed by a rest. And the slowness is key. If you go too fast, it doesn't give your brain time to reset. It doesn't give your nervous time, system time to reset your muscles. And so it's ineffective. So the slowness is really key. So it's not stretching. It's a way of lengthening the muscles without stretching. So try this, try this. Um, close your eyes a minute and just decide which shoulder is slightly raised. Usually we're a little bit unbalanced anyway, so pick a shoulder and then shrug that shoulder up towards your ear on one side, on the same side. So go slowly. This is the contraction part. Where are you contracting? Here, at the top of your shoulder, a little bit at the side of your neck. Okay, feel that contraction. Once you've contracted, you can feel it. That's why we do that. And now you release from the center, in this case, the center line. So release from the center slowly. Take your time. This is where the resetting takes place. You need a little bit of time. You pause at the end and just wait and see if anything else happens. So you may have felt that on the way down you have a little juddery feeling, a little sort of juddery, jerky, um, shaky feeling. 
And that is a sign of SMA, sensory motor amnesia, because the muscles are starting to let go and then they stop and then they let go again and stop and let go. So that's the jada. So to iron them out, because what you're after is smooth, controlled movement, go again and same shoulder, raise it up to your ear. And then on the way down, pause whenever it goes a bit shaky. Stop there. Come back on yourself so you can feel it. Not all the way, just part way. And then slowly continue the journey down. Stop again. Pause. Tighten up just a little bit just so you can feel it. And then slowly release all the way. And you might find it releases a little bit further. And then you can finish off by going one more time. All the way up. All the way down. And it should be smoother and you probably find that one shoulder is really quite significantly lower than the other. So before you hurry and do the other one, just notice. Notice the difference. Because um, that's what we're after. We're after change. And this will reset your your uh, the, the length of your muscles and it will be not permanent, but if you do it over and over again, you're, you will have longer, freer muscles and freer movement. So you can do the other one um, in your own time. So if you want to find out more about somatics, then you can visit my website, ninjagranny.org um, forward slash somatics. And I run classes in Southeast Cornwall and also online. So um, I hope to see you. Thank you very much.